Okay, today I'm going to rob my bees and get a little honey. I've gotten everything together I need. This is the smoker. It's going to calm the bees down with a little puff of smoke. I've got my hive tools to get into the hive since the bees kind of stick the parts of the hive together with cement. And my bee brush to brush the uh, bees off the honeycomb. The main way to get rid of the bees is with this apparatus, which will uh, go on top of the hive. It has an absorbent pad on the inside and onto the absorbent pad is placed Bee Gone, a really smelly stuff that the bees can't stand. So we'll put this on, we'll wait for the bees to um, migrate downward away from the odor and hopefully clear out the top um, section of the hive which is called the honey super. I have some um, frames to replace the ones that I'll take out that have the honeycomb on them and I've got a box to put them in once I clear the bees off um, I'll put the honey in the honeycombs in the box so that, and, and put a top on it so the bees can't get back on it. Being a macho beekeeper I wear all of my protective gear I have Tevas, shorts, and t-shirt. Going over and I'm going to put some bee gone, the smelly stuff on the uh, absorbent pad for the top. The instructions say use sparingly but use plenty to get the bees off so I don't know. The smoker uses um, toilet paper to start and then cedar shavings. It's got a little bellows and it really cranks up the smoke. You can see it coming there. You'll see me struggle a little bit when I'm trying to get those uh, honey laden frames loosened up and pulled out. I really had a time with that. Okay, you guys, here's your smelly cup. I also don't know how long to wait for that stuff to work. I guess I'll give it about 15 minutes. The secret world of the bees. The front door usually has about a hundred guard bees who smell all the girls coming in to make sure they belong to the hive. They also chase off skunks and things. A black and white dog comes out here and they never bother him. The ducks come quacking by, they don't bother the ducks. And I've come out here at night and virtually brushed some of them off the front with my bare hand and not gotten any uh, aggressiveness. So there's our smelly top in place. The girls down here certainly don't seem to be bothered by it. This is the uh, inner cover on which they've even tried to put some honeycomb. This has been a great hive. They have been proliferative. I put two honey supers on. They started out with no queen. They accepted the queen. She laid and produced brood right off the bat and they've just been healthy 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 of course midtown is wisteria and every other kind of flowering plant known to man this is bee heaven okay it's been about 15 minutes 
I went in and reread the book and it said they're usually gone within a matter of minutes, so we'll see how well the be gone work. Every time there's a little lapse of time, I like to re-smoke just to make sure the girls are calm. It took quite a while to do this. There's a lot of editing out of here. Here you'll watch me struggle a little bit to uh, loosen up these individual frames, which are just full of honey and weigh, gosh, I don't know, three or four pounds, all stuck together with bee glue. Somewhere in between these trips from the hive to the box when the honeycomb, I got hit on the back of the leg by a bee. I'll talk about it a little bit later. There were a few little stragglers on each uh, frame that wouldn't come off with the bego, so I just blew them off. Here I'm putting in the new frames, and hopefully they'll have a fall rush maybe and load up a little honey. They'll have a little extra for the winter. Right, there's my load of honey. I had one sting on the back of the leg and I was about four feet away. Um, must have been a guard or somebody got nervous. That's only the second sting I've ever gotten. Eight of these frames, pretty much full of honey. Some of them are not quite as full as that. You see the cap on the top of each cell. In a real bee operation, you skim off the cap, which opens the cells, and you put the frame in a centrifugal spinner that spins the honey out of it and drains out the bottom. But that's a $350 item that I just didn't need for one hive. So I'm probably just going to take these frames apart and uh, cut the uh, honey fill comb and just package the comb somehow. Being very particular about the architecture of their hive, they don't like gaps and they fill up gaps in structures with propolis. It's the uh, waxy, gluey stuff you see on the edge of the frames. That's what I was having to use a small crowbar to get loose in the hive. I paid the price for not regularly going into my hive because if you don't they really build this stuff up and it's tough to deal with. This is the frame that was on the end so it had a little more space between the wall of the hive and the uh, surface of the frame and they've drawn this out gosh probably an inch and a half in places. There's the regular height and then the increased height out there. Oozing with sweet stuff. <laughs>